Hi folks, welcome to Kev's Shed again. This time I'm going to jump into my trusty ute here and uh, I'm going to go around to uh, yelling up and I'm going to visit a, uh, a mate of mine, uh, John Miller. He's a, uh, he's a jeweller and he's a musician and uh, like his name, uh, he's actually done a fair bit of milling and I'm hoping to get a couple of nice pieces of wood. So uh, come along and let's go and visit John Miller. John Miller's Jewelry Design Studio. Ah. Hi, Kev. And there's the man, John Miller. What have you been up to? Oh, I'm making various things. I've got a bracelet there I'll show you in a minute. We'll take that outside for a look. Oh, that looks lovely. Done this beaten bracelet here recently. Okay. Uh, with some little curly triscles and stuff on it, three-sided bead. By pressing and rolling old guitar strings into... Oh my goodness, that's silver. what these are. Yeah, so you get a bit of an effect like that. Oh my goodness. A whole goodness. lot here that I've been doing, pairs of earrings and things, but... Uh, these so this is the guitar that... strings themselves pressed into the, pressed into the into silver? into the silver. Um, and I've got different different sort of patterns that I've done. <laughs> I've sat and bent up those strings. And that's what I call and innovation, John. Oh, there you go, Kevin. Thank you that's very much. That's what we're about on Kev's well, I mean, <laughs> This is a bracelet that I've been working on that I've um, just been finishing up. And it's called The Prospector's Dream. Oh, and it's that. sort of about prospecting in Western Australia. Oh, it's beautiful. You've got your, 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 your windmills and your... That's a that's a West Australian garnet. There's a very small pink argyle diamond in there. Oh yeah. There's two cognac argyle diamonds here, and then there's bits of Kalgoorlie gold, like little gold nuggets, such as you might find in the desert. And I've got these little pans with little specks of gold in them. Oh, it's magnificent. And some corrugated bits of road. That's all fused. That's melted together with a gas torch and there's essentially no solder in there. It's just all melted together and then the stone's set in afterwards. In all my spare time I make steel punches and that's uh, medium sea creatures and divers and mermaids and things. There's Australian animals and bilbies, kangaroos, echidnas. Uh, we haven't got a koala yet but we do have a wombat. Dragonflies and bees in various sizes, geckos, um, Dragonflies, frogs, wildflowers, as bottle brush, kangaroo paws. Here's a whole set of banksias with nuts and leaves, which are quite a dramatic sort of pattern. And on it goes. And I was in Broome recently, and I made these three, which are here we go: mud skipper, uh, fiddler crab, and hermit crab. We'll, we'll sit a piece of silver on here and get a punch and. A big hammer and whack those into a piece of silver while it's flat and on there you can see the mud skipper the hermit crab and the uh and the fiddler crab and that's a little broom pendant that i made in my spare time might give it to a friend from broom for fun Uh, there's a lot of timber around here. As you can see, there's a lot of big trees grow around this area. I planted these trees 20 years ago and they all got pretty big. And in some cases, when they're too close to the house or a terrible fire hazard, I drop them and mill them, and I'm allowed to because I planted them. They were widening the road up here and cutting down a lot of big trees. And I went and saw the guy uh, the, the supervisor about it and he said oh we were just going to burn that stuff mate oh, where do you want it and a few days later a 10 ton truck arrives and starts dumping logs and it came back about five or six times and dumped 40 huge logs and stumps here uh which means those are the stumps from the logs are they some of the stumps from the logs yeah so we started milling and here's a bit of it and i can't mill anymore because I haven't got anywhere to put any more timber because... Have you thought of the irony with your name right. being John Miller? John Miller, yeah, there is something of an irony there. There's Jarrah, Red Gum, uh, Black Bart, and there's She Oak under here. There's a bit of Red Gum, or Mary, that's the 
the dominant species in the landscape. I've got plenty of it there, as you can see. And for the audience, what colour wood is it? Oh, it's beautiful, sort of ivory blonde with some exquisite feature in it. Yeah. But wait, there's more. <laughs> yeah, here I've got a whole lot of chewet, which is another beautiful blonde local hardwood, dominant coastal species. Um, and you were going to give me a couple of pieces of chewet, remember? I am going to give you some chewet, Kev. This is some jarrow. These are beautiful red red local very famous local timber otherwise known as swan river mahogany there's some more red gum with lovely curly feature and there's some more beautiful crutch wood in here and a little bit of gum vein and this is really pretty pink and yellow timber absolutely gorgeous and everybody wants it but that's the only stuff i really want to keep um, this is this is a jam tree which grows out in the desert in the gold fields they're very hardy all my jeweler friends want them to use in the workshop for knocking things on. You can drill oh. holes in it and use it. They'd make a good mallet then, yeah, probably. Make, they make great mallets too. This is the hardest timber in the world. It's hard and even harder in the heartwood there. Oh, good. 